Hi, this is Danica, and I build WordPress membership site. I did not bring my camera right now, so we're just gonna focus on the screen. But if you have watched my Buddy Boss one-on-one -on -one, um, series, then you should see this website. I highlighted this a bit, and I promise that I will be showing this to you. This is a project rebuild that I'm working on, and this membership site offers different kinds of tutorials sewing tutorials, machine tutorials for their members. So everything is really like videos. And the I think the one of the most important part here is to make sure it's simple, easy to search, and then easy to, of course, navigate. Most of the members here um, are at age, um, I think 50 at least, and then up to 70. So it really depends. And then, so we wanna make sure that is it is like as user-friendly as it is. Um, the original site, which I also have worked, is also very simple, but there are some things that after several years that I think should, um, could be improved, especially with Jet Engine. So in this staging site, we're using Body Boss Membrium, but I turned it off for now. But I want to note that. And then Jet Engine, and of course Elementor Pro for the page builder. This button here, once they log in, has some resume their progress, but this is actually using a learn dash button because the highlight here is the courses, but maybe I could also create some grids at the bottom with some continue their progress that points to the specific webinar, live stream, um, replays, and demos because we could do that. If you have watched my demo video for the template one, which will be released soon, I've showed you how you could create this resume um, button, how it works, I mean. So we could actually do exactly the same. We could mimic this functionality from LearnDash, which is great. So this points system is using the Gamey Press, but do note that you could also create similar with Memberium and even with Jet Engine alone because they have their map capabilities. It's just in this site, um, it was using like Gaming Press as well as for the videos, we're also gaming, um, using Gaming Press. The all courses here, so let's talk about LearnDash first because other than the Body Boss team, this website is using LearnDash, even the original one. So it's using LearnDash and if you're using Body Boss, I'm not sure if you have like work on LearnDash alone. Once you have installed Body Boss, one of the biggest advantage is it makes your courses or courses archive page looks more simple and clean. Though it's not always good to have this kind of layout, but it seems like for this website, it works. But that's one of the benefit with using Body Boss team, especially if you want to take advantage on the look and feel that it offers. Um, Learn Dash here becomes very like simple, minimalistic, and it looks good. And there's also some search capabilities, my courses, which I need to work on the highlighting, but they have this grid, which also like Learn Dash offer this grid layout. They have their own add-ons, but with just um, with Body Boss and Learn Dash, um, of course they have this ready to use. You don't need to worry on the design. Now, in terms of the course page, this is how it looks with Learn Dash. I've demonstrated how you could create exactly the same in my Body Boss One on One series. So please check that out. There's a two part videos for Learn Dash. And you could see that they have also improved how this works. I mean, if you've worked on Learn Dash alone and install it to your website, it doesn't look this way. So um, that's one of the advantage. Now, because this website is using Learn Dash, it's using Body Boss. I want to like take advantage on the layout that Body Boss provides so that it's consistent. Because one of the thing that you want to remember when building your membership site, you want to make sure that the navigation, the way your members search, is as easy and as like very easy to navigate, very easy to search. Plus your style or design should be consistent because example, this is the courses page. You don't want to surprise them with very different 
layout when they go to the other pages well it could of course like do a customization but you wanna have something similar so that your layout is consistent so i figure that this is the layout with learn dash and body boss so i want to make sure that i follow that as close as i could for this website so they have this navigation and then the content here they have some indicator and so on now i'm still working on the site so it's not that live it's not yet final but i want to show you what's possible especially with jet engine because i believe that whatever like learn dash could do you could also build it with jet engine it just takes time it takes a lot of customization um, css knowledge and so on with a page builder of elementor as well well i because i believe that just because you know the elementor page builder does it mean does it not mean you will all you could like build great layouts you need to have the backup knowledge for the css and ux ui so that you could take advantage of that page builder i mean elementor is very powerful so with that you could for sure follow this now um with jet engine i know that i could create this i could create something similar to this one um and i could create some more complete like button so i haven't done this in progress thing yet but i'm gonna do that and then if i mark this complete so as you can see this now turns to complete and the button is gone so what that's one of the thing that i was trying to mimic so this is the webinars and we have live stream and replays i'm not gonna go over with the other pages let's focus on the webinars because the layout is really exactly the same so this is the webinars they have their search here and example if there is search for um sewing so the value or the result from here also gets updated i could mark things favorite and also the filter on the side will also get updated because it depends on the search here on what's available so as you can see we have some serger so we could also do that and so on and maybe i want to check this later so i'm gonna also uh, mark this favorite i still need to work on the favorite page my favorite page but more on that later so again this is the webinars and then for the live stream i just want to show you that this one does not have the filter on the side and then the vse replay is exactly the same there's no filter on the side i think it's the machine demo that has additional filter so for example you bought a machine from suit online and they have this tutorial so you could like search for baby luck and then it will show here and maybe you're only interested with the embroidery machine and you could search for that and maybe you want to check the baby lock verb later so the layout is exactly the same so let's focus on the webinars okay so for this one as you can see i have this list for the webinars and I could search for more if I need to here. And I'm just going to randomly like pick maybe this one. So there's this sorry message because of the video privacy, but that's the video. And as you can see, I have already like completed this um, webinar because I have this complete. And maybe I want to also mark that as my favorite. There's also some simple navigation on the side because, again, I want to make sure that it is as easy as possible to navigate other than on the left side. So, example, this is this one, sewing a cush uh, cushion. And let's just say I want to do um, a search because there's a lot here. As you can see, if you scroll down, it's going to keep on showing some stuff. So maybe I'm only interested with sewing so i'm going to search for sewing and then i have this snowman project so i want to watch that and there's a video 
of course it's gonna show this privacy settings but there's a video and then there's a mark complete button and if i like click this so it's gonna refresh and it's now complete and that's exactly similar if we check this here it's also gonna have that mark complete indicator and also in here mark complete so if you have like work on learn dash it has exactly the same layout with this one i mean functionality with this one you could mark things complete and make sure it's highlighted we could even create a query count to let your members know how many webinars they have completed um, and show that progress to them. I just haven't done that yet. I'm planning to create some lock indicator here so that it's clear, but I'm still thinking about that. But I wanna really highlight like how powerful Jet Engine could be. As you can see, um, we're trying to mimic what um, Learn Dash does in terms of gamification and let's just say you want your i mean don't get me wrong learn dash is a very cool plugin i've used it for lots of my projects they have organized their hierarchy and the plugin works the way it needs to but i want to highlight this because let's just say you want to start with a very simple website um low cost because maybe you don't want to get learn dash for now because maybe you're not sure if it's the right thing for you but you already know what specific layout you need for your courses then that's the great thing with jet engine because it doesn't lock you with that specific layout specific capability it allows you to create whatever you need to and i've even like requested a specific functionality for them which i will show you in my future videos because they have this progress indicate indicate um progress bars and i think it would really be cool to take advantage in those and use those to create some circle progress bar or just a plain progress bar um i know that we could create that with gamey press and memberium but i also want to show you that you could all actually create exactly the same with jet engine i'm just waiting for their new release and hoping that will be included in that new release but again this is um, jet engine um, we have mimic the learn dash capabilities here and as you can see it works and looks great again we are trying to make sure that we have a continuation because the course is here is the one of the the courses here is the like highlight and we want to make sure that when they move to webinars live stream vc replay we also continue that layout when we don't confuse the members okay so i hope this video helps and i hope i have able to demonstrate how powerful um even just jet engine alone and of course how how good and powerful um learn dash as well because as you can see we have use that as inspiration to our jet engine functionality here just jet engine po custom post type so it's very powerful it allows you to do lots of stuff and in this um, template i've done a lot of like the, the display visibility thing that they have and i'm gonna show that to you in the part two video in this one but i hope this helps if you have any question like if you have any question how i set up different things here do comment that below and I'll do my best to answer your question. And yep, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.